Let's do it, everybody. Muffin here. We're, uh, we're playing a Zelda game today. Let's get going. We're finally getting around to a Zelda game. I think we, I've talked about trying to do a Zelda game on stream for a while, but I just haven't gotten around to it. But the other day, I finally put it to a vote on whether or not I should play uh, the Game Boy Color Zelda's Awake or Link's Awakening or the remake, and it, it turned out a lot of people were into the, the remake, so let's get this started. Because I I don't know if I've ever gotten into this on stream or anything, but um, I'm a lot bigger of a fan of the 2D top-down Zelda games than I am the 3D Zelda games, and Link's Awakening was one of the was maybe the the third one that I got to play. Oh. A and it's freaking its original score is awesome, and the remake is nothing to laugh at either. It's fucking great. Hmm. Girl. But yeah, for a really Look long at time. All those jiggins. Uh thank you, Panu uh Panubra the Dirk? Thank you for the follow. Oh hell yeah. Egg. There it is. <coughs> Breakfast. It's so great. They did <laughs> this version of the theme is so freaking awesome. But yeah, for the longest time, uh, I only had uh, two Zelda games: uh, A Link to the Past and Minish Cap, which ended up being two of my favorite Zelda games. Uh, but this one was like, I finally got to play it in like my teens. Like, my late teens. Like, I was in high school by the time I finally got around to playing this one on, uh, the original Game Boy. <laughs> We're just gonna go in here. I would do Hero if I remembered how to... <laughs> how this game is, but, uh... It's been a long time. Alrighty. Here we go. Into the world of Coalint? Is that the name? <laughs> Quit whining, you baby. What a relief. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zeldo? No, my name is Merritt. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You're on Coalint Island. You... <laughs> Follow the links out to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area. So be careful, okay? What's this? Is this a stand for something? It says Piranha Plant. I've never noticed that before. Let's talk to, uh, Taryn. Well, Moof, you're finally snapped out of it. Name is Taryn. I hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of the shield. Ba, 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 ba. You got your shield back. Hold R to reveal enemies with it. So, this remake has so much stuff that makes the gameplay so much better than it was on Game Boy. Because on the Game Boy, um, you had to go into your pause menu. Oh, wow, it's taking a little bit. It's chugging along. In the original game, you had to go into the pause menu to, like, assign all of these uh, buttons to either B or A. All of your items were assigned to B or A. That's including the shield. But the game was so... The, the, the remake is like, you have a million more buttons. So, like, you have your B... B is, like, for your sword, which I'll get in a minute. Oh, hey. <laughs> Piranha plant, boy. And you got your A for all your interacting stuff. 
And I think it might be used for running shoes later. Maybe. I might be wrong. That might be, um... That might be just, uh, Link to the Past. But, you have B dedicated to your, she your sword, and R to your shield. And then, just in your pause menu, you have Y and X in order to assign everything else. And I think there are a couple more uh, assigned to the triggers. Oh, hey, that's the first dungeon. Um, you have a couple more assigned to your um, your other like triggers, and maybe you're up and down. Yeah, maybe. Um, but like the, oh, the the maneuverability of this game feels so good. I remember thinking the first time that I played this. I remember I remember playing this the first time and being absolutely floored. Uh, by the final boss, because I was like, was the final boss like this in the, the Game Boy version? Because, uh, cause, like, in the Game Boy version, you would have had to be switching all of your, like, stuff during the fight. All of your items and stuff. There's my sword. I'm gonna take that. And... Who told so you're the lad who owns the sword? Now I understand why monsters are starting to act so violently. Courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. Now I'm here to eat. I'm here to have egg. I'm here at breakfast. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I'll wait for you there. Hoot, hoot. All right, cool. Well, yeah, it's sword time. Bup, bup, bup. Oh, yeah, it's a different sound. Whoops. <laughs> You found your sword! It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. You can swing it with B to attack enemy enemies in your path. Hell yeah. Now we're in it. Now is Zelda. It's time, time to cut some grass and smush some bushes. But yeah, when when they first announced this game, I think I think a lot of people experienced it where they saw the art style, the art direction that they were taking it, and everyone was like, "This looks dumb. This looks like a baby game." <laughs> I think I had a little bit of that, but the more I saw of the game, the more I was like, "Nah, this is actually really charming, and I really like it." And it's like the the way the the art was for like the original game. Like, I really like it. It's very, like, nostalgic for me. It's it's a very, like, cute little, like, uh, like, style of, uh, like, Link to the Past put on a freaking Game Boy that had, like, half the resolution of an, <laughs> of, uh, uh, less than half of the resolution of an SNES, SNES game. But yeah, let's go cut some grass real quick. I can't, I can't remember if I can do any of the shop stuff right now. I probably can't. I probably just have to go to the forest. I wonder if there's any of this game that I'm going to forget. Because I haven't played in a while, but the, there might be like that special part of my brain that when I see certain stuff, um, it, it, everything just comes flying back to me. Oh, there's Marin. Uh, she can't teach me the song yet. Um, Chimkin. Oh, can I go down this well? Is there anything down this well yet? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, baby! But yeah, as I was saying, the the, the art the art direction of this game is really cute, and uh, I can't imagine any other way um, for uh, that style of game to play. Eventually, we might get around to playing the Oracle games, which are some of my favorite Zelda games, um, and we'll sort of see what it looks like. Yo, what the fuck? You're playing Zelda without me, bird? <laughs> oh, brave lad! On your quest to wake the dreamer, welcome to the mysterious forest. I'm getting a different voice now. 
Much of mystery you'll find on this uncharted Coldent Island. I'm afraid you may have find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the tail cave which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Hoot! <laughs> Bird! <laughs> no spoilers. You haven't played this yet? Rika. I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Wait, are you going to play the remake, or are you going to play the DX version that just came out on, uh, like, Nintendo Online? Not for, like, 20 years? Oh, yeah. Wait. <laughs> then what spoilers are there? I mean, this this game doesn't, like, have any, like, twists or anything. I think this game is literally just a fucking Zelda game. Point A to point B. There isn't, like, much... There isn't, like, lore to it or anything. Well, maybe there is, but... Ah. Uh. <laughs> Dang, I wish I could erase my memory so I could enjoy some games for the first time. Though I'd also probably be embarrassed because I'd probably play it just as worse as, it, as I did the first time. Yeah, I'm just I'm just exploring for right now. Um, heck, actually, um, uh, should I show the raccoon off? I guess I should show the raccoon off. I'm literally going the direction that the raccoon teleports me anyway. Where is he? Wait, where the frick he go? I didn't walk that far away from him, did I? Hello, it's the raccoon. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. And uh, that's like the only clue that you get? <laughs> You're gonna be lost thanks to me! <laughs> I'm gonna hit you later, remind me, cause I'll forget. Why would I remind you to hit me? Oh, this was something that's like, kind of new. Is that you? Oh, fuck. I don't think that was in the original game. Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. <laughs> Oh my god, the original game, if you walked up to literally anything that you couldn't pick up, it would give you that message. Like, not even if you tried to pick it up, just if you, like, touched it with your face. Um, do I have to go over to... Uh, Miss Lady? Um, yeah, do I have to go over here? I can't remember. They said the key was in... Oh, wait, yes, I do have to go over here. <laughs> yes, I do. Good luck. I don't need luck. This is a Zelda game. Double, double, tired, trouble. I told you to mix, mix, powder. Oh, frick, I forgot. I don't have the thing that I need yet. <laughs> I'm just, like, slightly concentrated on talking right now. Because, like, damn this game. This game was not my childhood, but pretty close. I was still very, like, focused on stupid children things. Oh. oh, wait, do I hear the guy? I hear him again. Oh, he's, yeah, he's directly to the left. There he is. Boom, 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 boom. Be sure to read your announcement. I can do that. Oh, I have a piece of power. I'm freaking awesome. We're gonna destroy these bats. They're dead. They're fucking dead. <laughs> piece of power The. Like, for some reason, this game had, like, little power-ups. And, um, in the original game, they only lasted a screen. But they last a little bit longer in this one. And there's, there's a guardian acorn. So now I- now I'm blue! And I have, like, twice the defense or something, and then the piece of power gives me twice the attack. There's the mushroom. 
But like, it, it gives you a taste of something that uh, you can get a more permanent upgrade later. But yeah, I got a toadstool. As you hold it over your head, a mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. Nostrils is a <laughs> nostrils is a funny word to put in a game. <laughs> Hold up, how do I get out of here? <laughs> how do I get out? I have to shove things somewhere. There, oh yeah, this way, there we go. Literally forgot how the puzzle was done. Also, the, the originals, the original had, like, box screens where you had to move from screen to screen. And, like, I don't know, the, the, this, this part, like, where you're supposed to be sort of in the Lost Woods or whatever. Oh, you also get faster when you have one of these, when you have a upgrade. I think. I might be wrong. <laughs> Choo -choo. What was I saying? My brain completely puttered out. I'm like trying to think too much about playing the game and hold it, and getting distracted by things. It has a sleepy toast to it. That is what it makes it up some something in a jumpy we will. Thank you, Miss. So ready it is. Take care, as there's not much here. Why not try it a bit in my hut? You don't have much, but if you want to waste some... Hell yeah. I can get this. I can go into my menu. I can sign it. I can go poop. Good job. Use it on your enemies and see what happens. If you run out, go to the forest, pick some toadstools, and I'll make you more. Come back without a toadstool, and you may have a, to pay a price for my leftovers. Oh, yeah. oh wait. Yeah. <laughs> I came over to... I came over to pick up the pots and throw them around, but I forgot that I'm not strong enough. Okay. Hey! Got big eyes. <laughs> mm. I believe there was someone that I watched play this game before where um, they did not... Uh, listen to uh, the witch's advice to uh, try the to try the powder in their hut. So they did not figure out that you could light torches with the powder for a really long time, and it's essential to beating the game. Oh god! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm getting hit all over. It's a good thing that I'm not playing hero mode. I'd be dead. Get hacked, raccoon. Here we go. It's the dude. Uh, Taryn? Yeah. The yeah. last thing I could remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, it sounds strange, but it sure was fun. Uh. I'm all tuckered out. Hi, Reka, here online. <laughs> I think I better set a spell before I head home. <laughs> Oh, yes, the tailgate key. There we go. Now I can go to the first dungeon. Oh. Oh, there you are. Hoot, take the key and go to Tail Cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. The wind fish is waiting. Hoot. Goodbye, Mr. Owl. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of the Tootsie Pop? Ah, fuck you. <laughs> Get fricked. Bad like-like. The second dungeon is somewhere over here. 
and one of the things that's interesting about this game is that like sometimes you didn't know what to do so you just come in here into one of these buildings and ring up old man you'll re it's me Aurea. ask me anything about the island if you get lost give me a call you know there's a library in the village that might have some good information for you <laughs> talk to you later <laughs> ah. And you can actually find him. He's he exists in the world, and he doesn't like talking to you. He won't. He won't talk to. You. He's he's shy. He doesn't want to talk to you in real life. <laughs> I'll probably get around to uh, showing him later because there's like a quest that involves his wife. Piece of power. Here I go! I'm going insane! <laughs> and it, and look, like this, look at this guy. Look at his chain chop. He's a good boy. <laughs> like a, I like how the music is, is like, you can hear, like, the background music playing too, even though it's... Yeah, there. Yeah, it just faded in. It was just quiet. Ow! You son of a bitch! Let's unlock this door. I. You can like see like the 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 old game used to have like a grid, like it was on a grid screen by screen basis. But there's like you could you get to see more of the world because of the the unrestricted. St like, unless the game specifically does not want you to see something, it, you can see the rest of the world around you. So nice. All that ruckus for two bars to move out of the way. Is the owl gonna come say hello? No? Okay. And it's weird, so th this is one of those games where you have like, eight, like, eight, I think eight is it eight? Okay, the, 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 they're here. Uh, I don't have any yet, but like you have eight of those things that you that you have to collect. Ooh. Hell yeah! Like th the game is like small, but is also big at the same time. It's it's oh, it's bizarre. It's impressive how much they managed to fit in the game. Whoa! I'm almost dead. It would suck to die this early in the game. Because there's like an alternate, well not alternate, but like an additional part of the ending. If you, uh, if you beat the game without dying once. Um, is there any way that I can get some health maybe? Just that. Oh gosh, oh wait, actually they can't hurt me, so. There we go. And with the compass, you get like a little sound chime that plays, that lets you know that like, hey, there's a key in here. I, and like, and I believe that in Breath of the Wild, there's like a song that incorporates that tune, like into the game. Like I think the sh like the songs that play in shrines. It's got like the, like the background music is like ba 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 ba. Kind of, kind of like the, kind of like the music that, but also like the, a lot like the chime. Whoa, wormy. Oh, <laughs> another chest is just for me. And I think in this game you can also no, never mind. There is a Zelda game where you can open chests from the side, but I can't remember which one it is. Might be the link between worlds. Um, um, uh, you can see a chest up there. How many keys? Jeez. How many keys do I have? I have a couple of them. Um, I don't... I need... I haven't been down there. 
These games are also my jam because, like, I like checking my map a lot. And, like, since the game is on a grid basis, I'm, I'm always like, oh, it did. Like, I just find the rooms that I haven't been in. Which you can do with the 3D Zeldas as well. I, I'm, I, I'm trying to get better about not doing it as often. Because I do rely on the maps of games a lot. A little bit too much. But I, I think it's because, like, deep down I want to be as efficient with the dungeon exploring as possible. Oh. Yeah, that's useful. It's like a fixation of mine, I guess. Oh, I'm full health. I'm, I'm fine. Key! Fall down, bitch. <laughs> oh, wait, can I even do anything here? I can't jump yet. Haha! Is it busy? And I think this is a beak? Yeah, it's a beak. You found a stone beak. So, like, you can eat each dungeon as a stone beak and a bunch of owls that will give you hints. Turn aside the spine ones with a shield. I would have figured that out because I played these games before. It's like, oh, it's one of the first hints that they give you in every single one of uh, the Game Boy Zelda games, I think. I might be wrong. You're not spine. You have no spine. Oh, oh, oh God, why are you following me? <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> Can't fool me. Oh, I remember this. Because later, I think on your way back, you have the jumpy shoes, or the, the rocks feather. So you get to just jump across the pit. What does this guy say? There's a door that you can't open, move a square block. <laughs> Easy. Bye. Ah. Turn aside the spined ones with the sheet. Oh, you, you say it again. All right, just in case I missed it the first time. But hell yeah, it's Mario time, baby. <laughs> There's, there, I, it's, it's so weird, these parts, I think to a lot of people feels out of place for a Zelda game. And I only somewhat agree uh, because technically those uh, types of areas were in uh, were in the original Zelda. <laughs> it's a rock's feather. I almost always assign this. This is... Oh, god damn. Good thing this is here. But the rock's feather is super useful. Jumping to dodge things is super useful. But yeah, that's a freaking Zelda One has like a platform area. Like you don't do platforming in it, but like it's 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 presented like a platform thing where you climb up ladders to get out, and you like climb up little little uh, stairs, everything. So it's like not entirely out of place. Zelda One did. It. Well, how am I supposed to get this? I don't have bombs yet. Oh, mini boss. Hello, Mr. He's a lot easier than I remember, <laughs> actually. And that'll take me back to the beginning of the dungeon because it's the halfway point. Oh, I know what this is. 
That's if I get knocked down. Freaking destroyed. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm like not super great at playing Zelda games and talking at the same time, am I? Which is, <laughs> it feels so weird. I like, I've been, I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring recently, and I feel like I've been able to have conversations with people while playing, while playing Elden Ring. But for some reason, I can't do it here. I got the nightmare key. Now I can go fight the boss. Which sooner or later, Reika and I are gonna do a co-op stream of Elden Ring, and hopefully it'll be super entertaining. I'm still unsure what my build's going to be, because uh, for the for the most part, my my build is based on whatever uh, Reika's build is gonna be. And I think she's got an idea of what her, 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 she wants hers to be, so I'm gonna try to go in, like, the opposite direction. Burger Boss! Buzz Buzz Outsider! Murder! He looks like a burger. Oh, wait. Oh, you have a, you have a cooldown on your tail for a while. Just gotta like defend myself while he's going crazy. Oh, wah! <laughs> oh, he's a red burger. He's a spicy burger. Mmm. Well, I mean, I guess I could have a sn I could have a snack before eating my egg. The egg is still a long way away, so I could have a burger. Right oh, way to go. Hey! I got a heart container. Now I have four four heart. I'm cool now. <gasps> Boop. Hey, you got the full moon cello. <gasps> A path opens in the blooms. All right, cool. So I gotta go to the swamp. Is the owl, is the owl gonna appear and tell me the same thing? <laughs> Here he is, bird. Oh, as an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north, in Gopanga Swamp. Hoot, indeed! Alright. <laughs> Not even gonna say goodbye. You say, hoot, indeed, and then <laughs> just bail. Alright, now I can hop over these. So getting back is easy. Oh yeah, there's the guy's wife. She's, uh... She's, she's like sweeping, sweeping away. You gotta remember that, it's important. Write that down. Hey buddy, it's serious. Yeah, really serious. That is, his name is, wait, Junior? His name is Junior, what's the other one's name? That is, the mom, the mom came to the village. Kid, Junior and Kiddo. Yeah, that's right, a whole gang of moblins. That is for real, they all went to the house. Yeah, that house, and then they did something at Bow Wow's house. It was a really bad scene with the, with the, with the moblins. And so I, so I, uh, it might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. All right, cool. See you later. See you later. Oh yeah. The change hop is gone. Hey, it's terrible. My Bow Wow has not been donut. 
Bye, moblins! Oh, huh. please, somebody help my poor bow wow! All right, yeah, but I want to go shopping first. <laughs> she had an awful tragedy in the house across the way. Grandma, Yahoo! <laughs> if you ask me, this is. <laughs> this is the fault of those no good moblins from up in tall, tall heights. Oh, it's just awful, and all I can do is sweep. Yep, sweep away. How about you? Did you get something in the prize area of the trendy game? It's yours. We've been trying to win the Yoshi doll for mom. Well, I can go try the claw game. <laughs> There's obviously something terrible happening over there, but you know, I'll, I'll try this out. Trendy game. Go to the buttons. Uh, X move forward and A move right. Okay. Oh, that is. Oh, that is very sensitive. <laughs> oh, poor Yoshi. Challenge again? Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. This doesn't get it. It's a scam. Don't scam me, bro. Hell yeah. There we go. Got a Yoshi doll, baby. Challenge again? Oh, yeah. I want, I want that piece of heart. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah, baby! <laughs> uh, oh, I'll try to win my money back. <laughs> I'll try to win my money back. Uh, we... Oh, <laughs> dead on. Dead on. Come on, don't fall out. Don't fall out. It's freaking scammed. I've been scammed. Do you just see this fucking shit? What the f- uh, No, I'm not playing again. <laughs> just give me a holler whenever you want to play. Give me my stuff. Got a piece of heart. And Yoshi doll. Yoshi doll, you can count how many games you've seen him in. You can't count how many games you've seen him in now. <laughs> He's in every video game. Oh, you won the Yoshi doll? We've been trying to do that forever. Oh, our mom is really desperate to have one. All right, cool. <laughs> I like how the music has the the uh, terrible music hasn't changed. Um. Oh gosh, I can't remember what this is for. It's like a doll. I think it's a doll. Maybe I I don't know. I don't know if it's for anything. Way to go! Mom's gonna be so jealous. Huh? Oh, she's probably probably back at our house. The one up north with two doors. Ah, okay. <laughs> now, is there anything important in here? I gotta do shopping! I gotta make sure that I have everything that I need to beat the game. Um, like that piece of heart. Or what's this? Two on I don't have that money. I don't have that money either. I hate you. You can steal from the shop owner. <laughs> you can steal from the shop. I think you like permanently get your save file named Thief or something, but it's funny. Andy fucking kills you <laughs> if you come back. Uh? Oh, will you give me that Yoshi doll to my baby? Uh, yeah, sure. Ah, uh? oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. I'll give you this in return. Is a, a bow. You traded your Yoshi doll for the ribbon. Maybe you can trade the ribbon for something else. Cool. Yep. I know what that's for. I don't know if I can do it yet because uh, Bow Wow's been kidnapped. But let's go. Let's go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm. I wonder. It is it is weird that 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 uh 
the trading sequence in this game is mandatory to beating, to like completing the game. Friggin' spear throws. I'm not used to it. But yeah, that area, like, it's... In order to beat the game, you have to start the trade sequence. And the beginning of the trade sequence is that Yoshi doll. So I guess they're heavily relying on the fact that when you're first playing the game, you're exploring. And you're like, what's this? And what is that? And this kid says that he wants the Yoshi doll. Or his mom wants the Yoshi doll. Keep out, except Bow Wow. Oh, right, I don't want to go this way. I can jump over that and meet that guy. I guess I can meet that guy real quick. Hello, Ooh, bird. He's running away from me! Yeah. Well, I pretty much stick to myself. Me and my letters. My name's Wright. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. I support the, the... Write that down. Important. But yeah, you don't want to go this way. You want to go... You don't want to go this way. You want to go... Whoa! <laughs> you want to go over here. Not only because it's the way forward, but also because of this piece of heart. Yeah, because we want to get over here to this dude. What's this? The wind fish in name only, for it is neither. It's neither a wind or a fish. But yeah, we want to go this way, because this is where the moblins were. Eh? Who's this suspicious-looking runt? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. Good luck. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da, ba -ba. Ooh, and the music is... Give me that. Give me that guardian acorn. Cause I'm super friggin' skilled and cool. Oh, hi. <laughs> you must be an assassin. Sent by Madame Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. You came here to get me, but it's I who will get you. Um, what do I do with you again? Oh, oh that. Wow! Perfect. <laughs> he was clever for a second, but I got him in the end. <laughs> Bow wow! You saved Bow Wow! What a fearsome beast! And now he's mine. <laughs> now he belonged to me. He had my friend. Can we go for walkies? <laughs> we go for walkies and he will help me get into the next dungeon. a fearsome looking animal you have there. Do not forget the next instrument is in Gopanga Swamp. Yep. And uh, I think if you take him back, he's just, they're just like, oh, thanks for saving him. Uh, take him for a walk for me, will you? So like, it's, it's an, no use taking him back right now. Uh, I do have to jump over here, I think. Unless there is. Hey, hey, you hop too. That's cool. Yeah, I do have to. Do I have to take him back? Or not? Well, I have to take him this way. <laughs> Good bow wow. Bow wow is good. Oh, <coughs> oh gosh. Dig. Can I take you on more walks after this? I think after you, you're done using him. 
After you're done using him, he, um, in the original game at least, you can't use him anymore. Okay, so there's a couple dig spots around that I'll have to remember for later. Is the dig spot, the dig spots, maybe they're shells? I don't remember what the reward for shells are. I mean, I know there's like a few of them, but I can't remember what they all, uh, what like the final one is. Might be something good. Yeah, he's like, dig, dig, dig. But I don't have enough money for a shovel, you fool. How much rupees do I actually have? 106. Maybe later, but... Ow. Get him. <laughs> Whoa! I want that chest. Good boy. Oh, 50 rupees. Very nice. I think that's the only, like, reward that I get. But, alright, we're in the next dungeon. We're here. Ooh. Spooky. Ooh, what's the yellow one? I can't- I don't know what the right yellow one does! Okay, he attacks me on his own. <laughs> he straight up is like, heck you. Well, there's this key right here. Oh. Little shy guys. This. This is important. Um. Oh, right. The, when I was talking about buttons, uh... <laughs> The, the handy gloves, they're like, the bracelet is going to be really handy. Uh, like, because I just tap A. I just tap A on them, and it's fine. Can I hit those with the... Really? No? Nope, okay. I thought they might have been anti-fairies. I do like the soft fade black. It's very pretty. Whoa. Calm your fucking tits, dude. That man was insane. <laughs> I'm a freaking genius. Maybe not, actually. <laughs> I think I made it harder for myself, actually. Okay, small key, good, small key, good. Hey guys, <laughs> don't look behind you. <laughs> don't, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I should go back for that key now because I don't know if it despawns or not. Man, this game was originally released on the on the Game Boy, so there were no colors. It just like I don't think actually I, I don't think they even had colors in the DX version. I think they were just all red, and they they switched on and off, and I think that was it.
and they made this they made the switch to color uh, for the Oracle games to make it more convenient or clear to the player. That oh okay. I was like, did that do anything? <laughs> I don't think I'll have to use the owl's advice. Ooh, that was close. I didn't. I thought it was gonna come all the way over. The, oh, the, the the little squish that they do to his model when he jumps is so satisfying. From like, from like, animation's perspective. Uh, is that it? That's all that did. Fall down. Okay. I thought there was gonna be a secret. Oh. Hi, mister! Whoa. Okay. Here we go. That's better. Go to your friggin' room, you stinky! You stay out of my swamp, I'll stay out of yours. I know this is technically your house. Ah! Oh, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Um, I don't think I can push my way in there. There's just, there's too many. Oh, this I remember. This is, it's a cool idea for a passive enemy. Something that's supposed to try to drag you into holes with gravity. I don't know if you can kill it. Oh, I'm getting pretty close to being able to afford that shovel soon. Oh, no, 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 frick you! <laughs> I like how they're boos, because I don't think they were boos in the original. I think they just added that because there were Mario enemies in the game already. You found the power bracelet. At least you could pick up pots and stones. Actual the Legend of Zelda ghosts, the like the 2D ones, they are fun. I love them. They're so silly looking. They're really, they're really like derpy. We'll probably see them at some point. I I think they are in Minish Cap. There's, there's a part of the game where they are in Minish Cap. So I'm sure, like, I have, I have a playthrough somewhere. Whoops. I made the same mistake as whoever <laughs> to my right was. But yeah, they're very, they're very silly. They're, I, I, I just like them. Uh, ah! Stop that. You're not allowed to hurt me. <laughs> I've been playing Elden Ring. I know how to read a move now. Oh. You know, you know, this might be one of the cases that I need. Uh, a stone beak for. Um, yeah, this is this is one of those cases because I I, I know that. Oh gosh. You have to kill you have to kill those guys in a particular order and I cannot remember how. Uh where was the boss room again? The mini boss room is it over here? Yes it is. Let's go back to the beginning real quick. Because first off there's a chest here. Fifty rubies. I was hoping it was going to be a beak, but the beak might be over here. This is the real reason I came over here. 
Oh god. Flame on. And now I can go through the teleporter and find that one owl, and he will probably tell me wh where I'm supposed to where I'm supposed to go. Hopefully. Um, bro, am I misremembering how, how these teleporters work? Have I never used them in this in this game before? I don't remember them taking that long. Like, it, it, the sense, your sense of direction in this one is a lot better than it was in the original. Uh, Pole's voice, uh, and then the skeleton last. Go down. I do like how these versions of the... Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, I forgot. He's annoying. Wait. What the fuck? Oh, I have to throw pots at him. Bat! Get the fuck out of the way! There we go. <laughs> So good. Oh, and I'm air key already. Am I? Am I there? Am I almost there? Excuse me. voice I think they they were in the first Zelda and like I remember hearing stories about how in the original Zelda the the way you were supposed to defeat them was to scream into a microphone that came with the original Nintendo that in Japan and uh, that's why the polls voice were so hard <laughs> in the American version of the game Ah, uh, I remember this. I remember this. See there, this platform is slightly different. It needs more weight on it so that it'll go. So what you're supposed to do is to let it have its pot. So I, I see a lot of people fall into the trap of uh, throwing all the pots because they're looking for stuff inside. Ah, there we go. Open sesame! Oh, it's the genie. The genie is the next boss. He's a pushover. If you haven't seen it, Reika and I did a Smasher Pass video on all of the Zelda bosses. I'm the bad guy this time! Uh-oh. Wait, actually, this guy's actually hard. But I am still all right. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the walls here look tougher than that dinky thing. Oh, yeah. He's gonna tell me how to f f defeat you? Yeah, yeah, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. I remember this being one of the first bosses that actually beat me in the original. Yeah. 
<laughs> what a loser. Bonk. Oh, oh no, you're all cracked. Plop. Ah, you broke my bottle. Why? You make me hopping mad. Whoa, okay, yes, this is the part that I remember. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Which one is real? Just need to not get hit by that move. You can't hit me! I'm too great! <laughs> Bye! See you later, uh, loser! Huh. So, maybe I should've gone to a better clown school. A uh, heart container! I'm so freaking strong. The horn of something. What is this? <laughs> you got the conch horn! Bum, 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 bum. Gorgeous. Prairie. Prairie. The prairie is waiting. <coughs> I don't remember where the prairie is. I don't, I don't remember where it is. I... Oh, hi. <laughs> I actually don't remember where it is. Um... Uh, where to, Bow Wow? I don't... I didn't think you'd come with me. <laughs> Can I take a shortcut back to town, or is that impossible for me? Oh, yes, these are the ghosts. They're the- I love them. They're so goofy. I don't know why they put booze in that room. Oh. There is something secret there. I can tell. I know there is. There's a, there's a teleporty thing in that pool. I'm pretty sure. Hello! I'm gonna smash all your pots. This is Tracy. Crazy Tracy. Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. How about it? 42 rupees for my little secret. Alright, come here and I'll rub it on you. There, I've applied my own secret medicine. It'll take effect when you lose all heart. Drop by again, big guy. Get some bonus treatment. Behold, your hearts are full. Okay, so now I got a little gold lining around my hearts, which j is basically like a fairy. Where if I, I die, I don't actually die. I just get my hearts refilled. I don't know if it's worth doing it this early in the game. <laughs> Honestly, I probably should have waited because... Whoa, zombies! I probably shouldn't do it this early in the game. <coughs> oh, this is a place later. This place is important. There's a lot of important things that you just get to see early on. Um, I can't go and I can't do anything here. Gosh dang it. Oh, I'm back in the cemetery. Oh, zombie! <laughs> Kill all sons of bitches. Them's my official instructions. Can't afford the thing now. Oh, wait, wait. There's, there's a chest that I can get now. There's a couple chests that I can get. I should go look for them. There we go, Pulp. Now I can afford the shovel. 
Um, did I ruin this already? <laughs> or was it always like that? Because I need to lift that rock. I did ruin it. Do I have enough time to shut that out of the way? I do not. This way. This should give me a new heart. Four pieces of heart. There's a lot of little, like, little bitty, like, cleaning up that I can do. Oh, hey, this. This is one of the teleporters. You should find out what it does. Can it teleport me to Tracy Tracy, or...? It can only teleport me here, which was especially confusing <laughs> in the original, because I believe the first time you do it, you think you've teleported somewhere, because it respawns the enemies, I think. Ugh. What do you what do you say, Bow Wow? Let's go get a shovel. Don't tell me this dog can't be in here. He's allowed. I'm gonna buy the shovel, even though I'm pretty sure I've never bought it before in <laughs> in any playthrough that I've done of this before. Or maybe I have. I think it's required eventually. So I'm gonna check out these dig spots that he tried to tell me about. I also need to go into a cave. <laughs> Here earlier. There, okay, yeah. Yeah, there we go. They were mystery she seashells, so they might not be like super useful. Dig on top of bush spaces. Right. I think we can go visit the. Oh, never mind. Oh, I've never seen this. Music. The fish stirs in the egg. You are there. Uh, I'll, I'll be there eventually, bro. Oh, and that song that's up there like in the Tall Tall Heights is one of my favorite songs in the game. Ooh, we're discovering all sorts of stuff. Cleaning up shop. Getting all that money. We can go fishing too. There's there's so much stuff we, we can do right now. Except to get that rupee. That's the only thing that we can't, can't do. Good thing I waited. Good thing I waited to use this uh, to come here. Because now I got all the items for it. I need this. Oh yes, I can get this. Yeah, the yeah, it's a piece of heart. Okay, I couldn't remember what I was, what I was actually going for. <laughs> I thought there was a chest or something. But awesome. Good old piece of heart. Definitely super useful in the long run. And now I get out of here. Now 
And there's also part of the trade sequence that I can do now, maybe? I think so, anyway. One of the things that's missing from this game that I wish they had uh, put in is um, Zelda, Zelda Link's Awakening DX. Um, it had a little more to it, um, a, like something extra that they added to the game where um, there was like a mouse photographer who was like running around and like snapping pictures of you while you weren't paying attention. And so you could actually find a photo album that had like art in it like of like the scenes that you were participating in and one of them involved uh bow wow so i'm gonna i'm returning bow wow now oh no i really appreciate that you did for my poor precious bow wow you are such a nice boy how can i ever pay you oh i know Mwah. you got a reward from meow meow <laughs> Lucky! <laughs> Alright, where's your stupid other dog? Yip, 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 yip. No, I said a dog, not a kobold. This one? Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all! Oh, that ribbon, I need it. Will you trade for my, for my dog food? Uh, oh, Lucky, thanks. Well, here's your dog food. I got dog food! <laughs> mm, it's full of juicy beef! Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Man, first, I, first I'm on a big old quest to get a giant egg, then I get an entire giant burger, and now I got some dog food. My life is really shaping up. Where's the fishing hole? <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's north. It's north of here. Oh, I bought some fish, little buddy. Oh, I'm only charge you 10 rupees. All right, here's how you do it. Hold A and release it to catch a line out. The longer you hold it, the further you cast. You're talking a line by moving now. If you want to really in a hurry, keep tapping A real quick. You got this, little buddy. All right, thank you, Mr. Fisherman. I want the bottle. Oh, wow, I threw that far. I want to catch the uh, the green fish first. Get them out of the way, you know. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Hmm. I don't want to snap the line. Get tired! Get tired, you bitch! I, well, maybe you're not big enough. Maybe you're not big enough to break the line. <laughs> I don't know. Ah! I did it. <laughs> you're then a big fish. So heavy you wish you'd caught something lighter. Oh, 20.99 inch fish. That's a lunker. Wait, 20? 20? Wait, hang on a minute. That's almost a two foot fish. Is Link only three feet tall? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That also means that Link's head is like two feet tall. <laughs> what the? <laughs> or some... <laughs> 17 rupees. New lure. Medweight lure. The fish of deep down will love this one. All right, cool. Thanks. First time you land in a size, huh? Let's mark the occasion with a piece of heart. Yo, that's crazy. Thank you. Want to keep going? Ch change lures to what kind of lure do you want to go with? The middleweight. Um, I think I could probably get the... 
We could probably get the 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 uh, uh b -b 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 the bottle now. There might be just enough room between the two fish now, if I time it right. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Hold up a fairy bottle. It's good for storing fairies for later. I don't think this was in the original game either. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to go again. Oh, well. Oh, wow. <laughs> it does... It does not care. Touch that fish. Why is that fish coming over here? That fish is gonna it's gonna ruin everything. <laughs> oh that tiny fish right at the top was gonna ruin everything. Oh, wow. 24! That's worth 20 rupees. Nah. <laughs> Alright, I'll fish down now. I'll fish down right now. Oh, that's okay. I, I hope to see you again. Maybe. Never. You're never gonna see me again, are you? <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Come on, how many rupees? 147. I'm already, like, clearing myself up. Being all cool. It looks like there's more, uh, thingies. Like, I wonder. Can I play this real quick? Like, if I play this, like, it, se it seems like there's podiums on, like, in people's houses. And maybe I can give this to, uh, Madam Meow Meow? Oh baby. Heck yeah. Nope. I'm all, I'm all, I'm all done. Give me the thing. Uh, there must be somewhere you can display it. Okay. I can display this at Madame Meow Meow's house. I think this third dungeon is just a little bit more difficult to figure out. Because the first one, like, like they told me exactly where it is, but I, like, I don't know for sure. Does this stand for something? It says Bow Wow. Do I have to select it? No? Oh, a Chow Chow. Is there another one in here? There's also a s bunch of bones in this room. What have you been doing? Oh, there's another stand in her house. There's two stands. I just I just noticed the second one. There we go. Wait, what? My Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coat. I was gonna say, you're living, are you living in a dream world, but like, you technically are. <laughs> so like, ah, eh, let's make things a little easier on ourselves and let's call up uh, our bro. Ring, ring, hi, it's only 
Yeah. Have you met everyone on the island? There's a man named Richard who lives in Pothole Field. Oh, Pothole Field. Okay, I know where that is. Although, there is... This part is one of those, like, oh, it's a little bit more complicated than, than normal. Uh, because I think this part is the first time um, that the train sequence comes into play, um, like, as a required thing. So yeah, you need to come down here and meet an alligator friend. Hey, bro. Yeah. What? What's that you have? It's canned food. For heaven's sake, man, give that to me, please. I'm going to lose it if I can't get that can. <laughs> give or don't. I'll give him. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. Whoop. Nom, 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 nom. Yum, yum. I am yet... I understand, bro. I'm here for a giant egg. I'm really hungry. I haven't had breakfast. That was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. Awesome. Good deal. <laughs> now that I have bananas, I have what I need, I think. Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. I was hoping you wouldn't turn around. Wait, is there a thing down here? I could have sworn that there's like... Hmm. Oh no! Oh, this is a part later. I'll explain it if I remember. <laughs> it's not like super important, but it's something that was in the DX version of the game that I hope it at least has some of the uh, some of it in there some of the content from that And can I go into Dream World yet? There's like another, it's Inception. There's another Dream World over here, but I don't think I can get it because I don't have the Pegasus boots. I think I need those. <laughs> Southeast, he said. Which is this way? Is this it? The next dungeon already? Or is that a dungeon later? I don't remember. But yeah, I do have to talk to Richard. Richard! Hey, the bunch of frogs. <laughs> I am Richard! Salutations! You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle! <laughs> my servants went berserk, and I was forced to flee my villa. So you're looking for something, are you? I may have just what you're after. But first, I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle when I fled. Alright. Smashing! To tell you the truth, there are five leaves, and I want them all. Wait, wait a minute, hold up. You said there was one leaf. You said there was a leaf. Now you up to the ball game. What am I getting for this? You need to do some digging, so buy a shovel. Uh. All right, so I did eventually have to take the shovel. Stupid frog-loving bitch. Wow, okay, that was... <laughs> uh, Canalit Castle. Ten minutes? That's such a long walk. I like how it names actual time as well. When it actually takes like like three minutes. <laughs> like here? Yeah, it, it, apparently it's been five minutes already. <laughs> Ooh, no. Oh no, I forgot about those guys. Are you kidding me? That hit me. Oh, die, die, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Stop hitting me! Stop bullying me! Oh, hey, funny trees. 
Well, that was a surprise. Hey, I'll tell you a secret. If you see a weird bull all by itself in the middle of the cave, sprinkle some magic powder into it. It's a pretty good joke on the thing that lives in there. No, come on. There we go. Yeah, it's the tell- and it's another portal thingy. What if there's another secret seashell buried underneath that one? Aww. <laughs> it would've been really funny. Can I talk to this one too? Oh, that was a surprise. Uh, I'll tell you a secret. Use your sword to poke at dungeon walls. If you hear a hollow clank, you can break the wall with a bomb. I don't have bombs yet. How do I not have bombs yet? Am I not allowed to have them? I am the spirit of the mansion. I have been waiting for someone. One who can overcome the darkness. Find the secret shells, then ascend the platform. You will receive the ultimate sword. Oh. So they tell you what the reward is. You must not have enough shells. Alright. So, okay, cool. I wasn't sure if they'd actually tell me what the reward is. These, oh. Okay, the, sh the it is closed. Is there a golden leaf over there? No, that's a stop. <laughs> and this is what I got the bananas. Kiki! Bananas, bananas! Ooh, give it to Kiki! Now, I know this is a dream because Kiki was in A Link to the Past, and this is the, this is the same Link. Lore-wise, this is the same link as a link to the past. So, um, I've already met Kiki, and so why is Kiki here? Give bananas to Kiki? And also, Kiki loved money, not bananas. Kiki would only follow you if you gave him money. <laughs> and also, Kiki was blue. <laughs> Bridge. Hi, Bucky. Bucky business. Done, done. Bye, bye. Kiki. And they left a stick. You got a stick. A monkey left behind. You take it. You'll never believe what it's for. Oh, I could have gone around this way. <laughs> Alright. Golden leaves, where are you? Oh, hey. <laughs> My friend. Oh. The perfect crime. You know, I. <laughs> this same link, it like climbed into a. Um, like broke into a castle a lot, like in a different game <laughs> in a very similar way. That's funny. That's... Oh, you're fast. You're so fast. What are you hiding, crow? crow? You know, for being like super, looking super armored, you don't have much of anything. Uh, why? Uh, I have a feeling like I have to start digging. I, unless this is one of those really dumb things where um, they tell you that you have to dig and you only have to dig like one of them. down. It's just like Dark Souls. Whoa! Ha 
Aha! He had one! <laughs> Found Leaf. We can all go home. He said I had to find one, and then he changed the, the deal. Okay, but I can go inside. Are they gonna be in here? Oh gosh. I should have caught that fairy though unless I need a butterfly net but I don't think I I don't think there's one in this game oh good open the doors Sounds like the castle goat, the castle goat, the castle gate opened. You can easily leave the castle now. Good. Because I'm gonna zoom out of here as soon as I possibly can. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh dear, I need bombs. Now where am I gonna get those? Is that what I'm gonna unlock in this dungeon? Or do I just need to go out and find bombs? Oh, the best puzzle of all. The jar doors. Right, he can't, he can't actually throw it in 360 degrees. <laughs> he can only do it at angles. At like very specific angles. Oh wow, he, he kept hitting me anyway. Motherfucker. Found golden leaf. Man, do I actually have to go find bombs? There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see if we can't get more some more to spawn. Because <laughs> I think that's only three. It was only one. <laughs> it was only one. I thought they spawned in threes. Very satisfying sound, though. Oh, there was a spot in Dungeon 1 where you could place a bomb. But it would be, like, a totally extra thing. Where's this last golden leaf, then? It's gotta be outside. It's gotta be outside somewhere. They said that it was... It, I needed a shovel, so it's gotta be... It's gotta be outside somewhere. Fuck. 
like confused all my buttons. <laughs> It's gotta be you. Yeah, yeah, I knew it had to be you. Why else would you be here? You didn't even have to dig any of them. <laughs> you didn't have to dig any of them. Ah. Uh. <laughs> What a son of a bitch! What a dick bag! <laughs> you didn't need to buy the $200 shovel. <gasps> There's a piece of heart down here. Can I go to the map and like mark something? Mark that for later. I was gonna check up what's up there, but it doesn't look like there's anything. What's over here? Okay, that's the dungeon, I assume. My brain is going into like that dead, like that dead zone of, of like, like, where do I go next? How do I get there? Ah, Trey Bien, I see you have recovered all of the leaves. Now move the statue and you'll find your reward. Froggy's dead. Bro, are you serious? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thought you could fool me. Oh wait, that's not the reward. There's more. <laughs> My face like fell. I was like, are you serious? A fucking seashell? <laughs> oh, it didn't give me anything? Oh, I thought that was like a, a money crab. <laughs> Muddy crab! Behold, the pothole field! This area will super kill you if you're not careful. Although, usually, if you follow, like, the regular grass, you're pretty safe. I thought you had to make a jump over a hole. Oh, he gave me a piece of heart. He didn't even warn me about <laughs> the potholes. Uh oh. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, no! I can make it. I can't make it. I can make it. I got there. Getting back is the hard part. Got him. Okay, what did he give me? What did he get me for Christmas? In soiled sleep secrets beneath your souls. What the fuck does that mean? No, I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> you got the slime key. Now you can open the gate and you could go cry a parry. It's over here. Chka chunk. Got it. More shaking just for two poles to be removed, or two th bars. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now I have to walk around. How am I gonna get there? Oh, everything respawned? I barely moved two steps away. Is he here anymore? Is Richard still here? Or did he bail? No, he's still here. I am forever in your debt for getting my leaves back. All right, cool. Frog, get out of my, get out of my way, frog. Out of my way, frog. No, don't get more in my way. Frogs, frogs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Freaking frogs. They ruined my life. Oh, I can use this button too. Oh, okay. Cuckoo Prairie. How much of the map do I have filled out? Oh, quite a bit. Like, it's it's not a huge game. Like, what, this is the third dungeon and I've been playing for almost two hours? It's not like a huge game. The, the, the dungeons do get complicated later on. But like, they're, I don't think they ever get too bad. Key Cavern. I want that. Huh, okay, no, that's a place for a key. Which means I need to kill all the things. There we go. You guys realize your <laughs> your resistance is futile against my red sword. Whoa, trap. Only got to hit you once. Okay. Wait, is there a... Is there a crystal switch? There is not. Instinct says left. How the heck am I supposed to get you guys? Oh, you start. Oh, that's why you're weird. supposed to get you motherfuckers that didn't kill you kill you because <laughs>
at least somehow. Oh, that had to, should have gotten you. You, if I'm anywhere two tile like two tiles away, I don't have, I don't have bombs for this. I don't have enough. I don't have anything that I, that can help me with these guys. Get. Kill, die! Oh my god. I think I wasted a key. I don't know how to kill those guys. No. Let's for getting out. Did I go this way? No, I did not. Oh, there's a way to the right. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Give me more bombs, please. Oh, you won't let me near you. I gotta have, um... I gotta have Pegasus boots is what I'm gonna get in this, in this, uh, in this dungeon. Get freaked. Nope. Ooh, that was close. <sighs> now I go to another place where there's going to be another enemy that I need to... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Get fucked. He tried to back up. Now I can get this. There's one dungeon that I really like. It's probably my favorite dungeon of the set. It's it's a little ways from now though. Far away, do not fear, dash and fly. Wait, far. Oh, I have it. I have another key. I don't know why I thought I didn't get one. Oh, that makes things a little bit harder. I don't have enough bombs though. I'm super cool. I have the defense of a million men. One more? Key? Key! Baby! Ow. 
Oh, oh no. Oh, there's so many keys needed. <laughs> I love the freaking arrow pointing down. Is that what you're gonna tell me? Poke suspicious part of the walls with your sword. Ah, so like it lets you know that you can check a piece of the wall. So like it, you can hear what it sounds like. And then there's this area that teaches you about uh, dashing and jumping at the same time. Which, back in the day, you had to... <laughs> you actually had to assign your Pegasus boots and your feather in order, at the same time in order to do it. Oh. Any reward? No. Well, the door opened. So, I got a compass. New feature. The tone will tell you. What will the tone tell me? Ha ha! I don't have bombs. Fuck! <laughs> Why hasn't the game been giving me bombs? The game's been, like, specifically not giving me bombs for a while. There we go, there's one. Huh. I could have sworn that it gives you them three at a time. Why does it only give you one at a time? That's so bogus. Good sound design. Oh man, this dungeon is big. I sure wish I could run faster. <laughs> uh, well, I got an ass load of keys now, so, well, no, I two actually. No, don't go in here! Oh, frick! Oh, wait, no, I can leave. <laughs> you can't defeat them without bombs. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have used those. They should have gone back to that other area. Oh, not you. Maybe I can get you with the Pegasus boots when I get them? Maybe I'll be fast enough? Where was that? I can't remember where that is. Mini boss? No. Yes, there we go, finally. What's this say? To defeat the black monsters with the heart, feed them something explosive. I know that. It's just that you have to. It's very uh, based on uh, how accurate you are. Because if you run out of bombs, you have to go collect a bunch of bombs again and then tr start over. Nothing over here? Nothing over here. All right. Maybe this is just a clue that there's the bombable wall there. Game design.
shit. There we go. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh, take your time to celebrate, Lonk. <laughs> oh, Jimmy! <laughs> Why was it from flying away from me? Key? No, these are the Pegasus boots. These are it. Yay! You use the Pegasus boots. If you hold L, you can dash. Try going for a long jump. So it suggests it to you. Oh, <laughs> listen to that. I love it. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Such a good sound effect. Okay, where is... No, it's not here. There we go. That's how you defeat them super easy. <laughs> oh, this sound is so good. Can I burst this open? No, I cannot. So now I can do this. Whoops! I accidentally hit B as well. Oh, hey, big key. <laughs> Nightmare key. And, you, and the bosses, you know, they're called nightmares because we're in a little dream world. Though, like, I can't remember if the game, like, states that this is what... Maybe the owl says it. I'm pretty sure the owl's like... Like, oh shit, you're in a dream world. This really blows for you. <laughs> you have to, in order to wake up, you have to wake up the windfish because this is the windfish's dream and the bosses are nightmares. Whoops. Got him. Oh, no reward. Oh, okay. I was just making sure. Should I go into this last key? I didn't go into this one. down those holes? Oh, there wasn't much there, was there? Oh, there's even little di different steppy sounds when you're on that. Okay, it is time to look at the map. Um, I'm... Oh, I'm missing the ones from the beginning. I just need to warp myself to the beginning. Uh-oh. Key! 
This is the key dungeon. Named after the key of key dungeon. <laughs> Wait, do you last longer if I hit you with my shield? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> oh! That's why! There's supposed to be a reward there. Are you joking me, you funky little bomb? There's supposed to be a reward there, but I had to go across the way and kill the little jelly that was on the other side of the screen, so this chest would appear! And I get a reward. 200- 300! There's not enough something to lie and scratch at. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, let me get all comfy again. And we can go unlock all those keyholes. All the key blocks. Uh. <laughs> Sora's got nothing on this dungeon. That's a thwomp. <laughs> He's bogging, dude. That these things that are supposed to pop don't have or aren't popped just by you slicing them. You specifically have to sprint into them at full speed. Ooh, what's wait, there's a key in here? a thing. Oh, there's a chest in here that I missed. Oh, it, it, it has something to do with the crystals. But there's no more doors to unlock. <laughs> what? Is there just an extra key just in case you fuck up? Oh, maybe. That's possible. Let's see what the boss is. Neener, neener, you can't find me. Nya, nya, nya. Are you his flying boy? Oh, I know what to do. <laughs> Whoa. Slime eye. Let's get some slime in your eye. Oh, gosh. Split. Gotcha. How do you have extra eye? Focus on one of you, and you can't get me. Bitch. You suck. Worst boss. <laughs> Thank you.
You were the, doing the nightmare where like, oh no, I accidentally did, ex did the, the ooze, made, created the ooze in science class. And I'm in my underwear. Oh man. I got the sea lily's bell. Dun 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 dun. Yeah. I wonder, can I play what I have so far? I can't remember if they put that in this game. Waterfall. It is hidden in the waterfall. All right. Uh, I think this might be the one of the last times that the owl talks to me. Hoot! How many instruments have you gotten so far? When you play the instruments in front of the egg, the wind fish will wake and you'll leave this island. Wait, you mean I don't get to eat that? Hey, must hasten to the Yarna Desert. The dark monstrous inhabitants of the sand will show you the way. Hoot hoot! Goodbye! Oh, look! A rat! Nom 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 nom! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can I play this from... Okay, no. I thought I might be able to play what I have so far. All right, uh, so we're doing pretty good. Uh, about a third of my inventory is full. We're, we're about a third through the game. It gets a little bit more complicated now. Yeah, there's a shell. Uh, I can go check and s I can go check on how many shells I have. I might have enough for one reward. Oh, and I can do this now. I can eat apple. Oh wait, he's not gonna do the animation? I want him to do the animation. I'm num num. <laughs> it's adorable. Like, super unnecessary for add addition to the game. Get blip for the muffin! Blip! Blip, blip, blip. Let's see how many seashells we have. Because we have a little bit. Yeah, we have a tiny bit. We might have one reward in store for us. There we go. <laughs> it's wrapped in a prison. Nothing. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a piece of heart. Oh yeah, that's a, that's super useful. Sweet. Awesome. All right. I think. Jesus, I freaking hate these guys. I don't know. I've never had a problem with them before. I think that's going to be it for today. Um, there's plenty more to do. I kind of wanted to do a short stream today. I kind of wanted to do a short stream today. Uh, and this was the perfect game for just sitting and relaxing and, and putzing around. Um, I, I have to go to the desert next, which I believe is it here. It's cool because you at least get to see what the areas kind of are before you've been to them. So like you can see here, there's the egg. Can I go to the egg? Maybe I can go to the egg and see the egg real quick. Ow. Let me go to the egg real quick. Slamming into walls. Ew. 
It is... Well, actually, first there's uh, this area over here, Dompe. Uh, Dompe's shack is over here. And you can do, like, a little, like, puzzle thing with, like, creating dungeons in order to get, like, special items. Hey, I can get one of these. Um, I wonder if I can get one from Tr Crazy Tracy's house, too. Even though hers is in water? I don't know if I'll be able to dig it. But yeah, let's go up here. Oh yeah, here comes, comes the owl. He's gonna be like, Oh, it's a, it's a fucking egg up there. Oh, the windfish sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above. When you play the eight instruments of the sirens in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave the island. Yes. So we gotta find out how to get the most giant skillet of all time in order to make breakfast with this giant egg. Let me in. I want your Yoki Center. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> but there it is. That's the windfish egg. We'll go there eventually. Um, but yeah, that's it for this, this stream. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Uh, I'm going to uh, set up a raid real quick, and of course, if you ever, if you like the stream, don't forget to follow, maybe subscribe, and uh, you can also find me on YouTube where I do others like, do, like different kinds of content. I usually do like, si like s silly little videos and stuff, um, like a little bit more like edited and everything. Um, looks like Reika is playing Pokemon Snap. So let's go ahead and raid her. Because she is great. Alright. Coolio, again, thank you so much for watching. And, uh, I'll see y'all next time. Have a good time at Reika's. Bye-bye!